Hey there, it's Rob from JoeDay.com, back again with a video review looking at the Ninja Commando 4x4 from Retaliation. I picked this thing up a few days ago on sale actually at uh, TJ Maxx or Ross or you know one of those stores that seems to be the primary source of some G.I. Joe stuff lately. Anyway, it was a good deal for six, seven dollars I think and I was actually surprised when I got it open because when I'd seen pictures of this thing I thought you know, the all striker mold has been done over and over and over. How could it be anything interesting or exciting? Well, it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting and exciting if it's just consider the fact that it's just been changed a little bit. And I think it makes a difference. Um, mainly the roll cage is what was added and changed. And that was kind of, it's kind of neat. It kind of resembles the vehicle that we saw in the movie that Snake Eyes and Jinx, I think it was, were driving along in the mountains with. So... It's a neat little thing. It's got a couple of foot pegs here in the back, like in the old days, so you can stick a couple guys on there. Of course, it's got the giant missile launcher, which in a movie line you have to have the giant missile launcher. Let's just face it, folks. It's it's here to stay if we if we ever get more G.I. Joe toys, that is. <laughs> anyway, uh, and of course, being retaliation, it's got the giant uh, Arashikage symbol there on the front. You know, you couldn't get away from having those things plastered all over everything in the second movie, but maybe you could paint it if you don't like it. I don't know. Um, it's still got a few things left over from some of the old molds, like the um, the engine back here and the camera. Is that a camera? I never could quite figure what, out what that was. Anyway, I think this uh, bumper here is new with the winch, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should do my research better. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty cool vehicle, and considering they just changed, changed up one thing, it actually made it interesting, at least for me. Um, it's still got the suspension, too. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And it's also got uh, still got the turning turning wheels. It was really simple to put together. Um, you just snap the wheels on, snap this on, snap the roll cage and the launcher on, and that was it. It does have some stickers, which is amazing, just a few, but hey, you get to put stickers on it. That's cool. And then, of course, we get to the thing that people really couldn't stand about the movie, second movie vehicles, and that is the driver, which this time is Snake Eyes. And actually, considering it's five points of articulation, yeah, that stinks, I know. Um, it's not a bad design, really. Um, it's kind of got, he's kind of got a motorcycle jacket look there with the kind of padded, padded look, and then the, you know, just the regular, uh, you know, military style pants, I guess, with the knee pads, which we've seen since, like, Pursuit of Cobra, that kind of style. Kind of a different looking, um, mask than what we saw in the movie, but I think it might have been the same one that was on some of the figures, for the movie figures, I don't really recall, but it looks like it. And then it's got some neat, a uh, little bit of neat finishing on it, because this, these parts here are glossy, and then other parts are kind of flat. So at least there was a little bit of attention paid to that, and hey, I mean, if it's an, if you don't like, if you like your figures with uh, just kind of static, without any kind of action pose or whatever with these five POA figures, it's decent. Uh, I know it's not what we expect with G.I. Joe, but it's decent. And there's, you know, with 5 POA, you get that vintage Star Wars vibe from it. So I know that's not really something to sacrifice G.I. Joe's articulation for, with, but I find it interesting at least, especially with the way that the, the build of the figure is affected and the, the fact that you don't have these uh, ball joints at the, at the shoulders and hips that kind of um, change the, you know, the makeup of the way that it depicts a figure, you know, a human figure. So it's interesting in that aspect, I guess, and you just stick the guy inside the vehicle and he drives it. That's pretty much all it's meant to do. There's no weapons for him. Um, and this is a similar thing that we see in all the in a lot of the other uh, Hasbro lines with the driver figures like the Marvel movies and things like that. And it's just, you know, it's cost saving. But hey, at least we got a figure. I don't know. That's about all I can say. <laughs> I know it's a whole can of worms with that stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of into these simplistic figures anyway, in some in some senses, and uh, it's a shame that it's in GI Joe, but I can appreciate it for what it is. But I do like the whole thing as a whole. Um, it was it's pretty nice actually. I was again um, surprised and uh, glad I picked it up. So yeah, the Aw Striker. Excuse me, the Ninja Commando four x four from Retaliation. It's Rob from Joe a Day. Signing off. See you later.